Hello everyone, Daniel here and today I want to show you some new gear I got to make more videos for this channel. First off, I'm filming with the Xiaomi Yi action camera, which can record 2K video in 30 frames per second and full HD up to 60, which for my needs is perfect. But the star of the show is a neat little device called the SX200 by Keep Out. If you don't know who those guys are, it's not very surprising because there are very few reviews of their products in English and none that I could find for this particular capture card. So I bought it almost blind and just hoped for the best. I picked it over the more popular Aver Media and Elgato alternatives for two reasons. It's about half the price and it can record from a larger variety of sources, from my Mega Drive to my Xbox 360. At 1080p it can pass through 60 frames per second and record 30, which at this point is fine with me. The first thing you need to know about this card is that it doesn't work with a computer. You can only save footage on external USB storage devices or SD cards, which makes it unusable for streaming. You have absolutely no control over any of the settings, there is only one big button you can press and the device automatically selects the resolution and frame rate and starts recording. There are also limits on the media you can use. It does not support NTFS or EXFAT file systems, which if I had known about might have been a deal breaker. I have a 2TB external drive and a 64GB microSD card, but neither of them can be used unless I cripple them and limit their usefulness with devices other than this picky little green bastard. So for now, I'm stuck using an 8GB flash drive. But let's talk about the captured footage. In Full HD, I have to say I'm quite impressed with the quality. The only problem is the file size, it automatically splits the file every 2 gigabytes, which takes about 15 to 20 minutes, so a longer session always ends up in a bunch of short clips, which can be somewhat annoying. PlayStation 2 footage looks quite decent. It detects whether the game is running in power in TSC and captures accordingly, but that's only with composite connection. If I switch to component, it inexplicably cuts the frame rate in half and looks incredibly choppy. I did not have that issue on Xbox. Lastly, we have the Sega Mega Drive, also known as Genesis in the United States. Most of you are probably aware this console puts out a paltry resolution. The SX200, however, does an excellent job of digitally converting the signal, making it look very sharp both on my television and in the footage. There is no perceptible latency, so the controls are instantly responsive, which is vital for some of the games from that era. The sound is where I run into a major issue. It comes out fine from a TV, but the recorded audio is very broken and out of sync. I call this a major issue, but it's not a big deal for me because I can easily capture the audio on my computer and then place it on top in editing. It's a little bit of extra work, but it's doable.
conclusion, I'm mostly satisfied with my purchase. What I wanted for my money was a device that gets the job done and this is that device for me. I like the design, it's very compact and charges through USB so no need for an outlet. I like the versatility, it can capture everything that I need and disregarding the sound on Mega Drive, I like the quality of the captured footage. However, I cannot recommend it for the general consumer with a clear conscience. It's a very temperamental little bugger and you might need a good dose of luck and patience to overcome its quirks. If you see one out in the wild, which is unlikely, only consider it with the price is very low and it comes to the AV cable. Then you can use it as a video signal converter box. But even that's not guaranteed to work as I could not get a response on my PC monitor when trying to run Mega Drive or PlayStation 2. Like I said, it's temperamental. But for now, this is all from me. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comment section and have the best day ever. Bye.